Right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made before observations. This could be a podcast. It could be. Ah, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're, We're anyone. anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. You're the reason that we do what we do. Music and talk, it's all for you. Now the guys who are lots of fun for making you laugh, they're number one. They review the week just for you. So get ready for Paul and Drew. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew, starring Chris Hardy and Jack all up in your face. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Yes, we dare you. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. I'm Paul. That's Drew. This is a show where we talk about things from last week and things from next week. You can join the experiment by calling or texting us. If I get... Oh, I forgot to get that up here, didn't I? More of you have been trying to call us. Oh, my God. You have so many YouTube tabs open. Google? It's, 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 a, it's a Google number, right? Hey, Google, right, guys? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, guys yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a Google number, of course. Okay. okay. So you can give us a call uh, or text us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. And as you know, we broadcast every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Or until Tom Petty's done with his song, <laughs> we, we transition and we don't cut things off. Too soon. And you're probably listening to us at uh, kctk.radio12345.com or the Listen to My Radio app, which is working because we checked it out, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. But you can watch all the live action on YouTube a little bit later. Except it's not live at that time. But it is recorded. But you can see that. Also, this is a podcast. We broadcast to you. We do YouTube. But we also do a podcast that you can check out on iTunes and Google Play. And that's why we're different from other shows around here. We do all of this stuff. <sighs> Hello, Drew. What's going on, everybody? This is the Drew Shay, a.k.a. the Puss Town, <laughs> a.k.a. Gumshoe. <laughs> How you yeah. doing? Yeah. Absolutely. It doesn't make sense. It <laughs> never makes sense. That's the point. I never understand it. But uh, you confuse me. And how's everything going? Going all right. It's been a weird week. It's hey, been a weird, weird week. It, it has been a weird week, hasn't it? Yeah. I think I'm sinking into a slow depression. R- really? Yeah. Whoa. Yep. Just like quicksand. Welcome to huh. high school. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welcome to high school. Welcome to high school. Welcome to high school. Well, I hope you cheer up. I hope this uh, show cheers you up. Uh, we didn't have. Oh, it very, does. It does make me cheer up. We didn't have a very cheery show last time either. Nope. No, we just talked about week. some pretty yeah. sad topics. Yeah, it was a sad week. But let me also welcome to the show our friend Jack. Hi, Jack. Hey, everybody. Jack, in your food. Jack, you. We because of the board and everything, we moved you. To third mic. Did you know that? <laughs> yes, I have been promoted. I'm no longer just an intern. I'm an actual employee now. Now you never were an intern. Never mind. And I am. That's okay. Okay. You, you know. Yeah, yeah. And as always, potato, potato. Hey, you know. How's it? How's it? How's everybody doing and everything? Okay. What's up, Thank Kermit? You. Yeah. Hey, he, I'm, no I'm one fine. cares about him, but I do. I care about him. <laughs> I care about and, him, and uh, that's Me. what's important. So, um. We have lots of things we're going to talk about. We're going to do some of our, our famous, very famous uh, segments. Are you excited about this? I'm always excited. Look we're, at my face. Look how excited I we're am. We're going to review some commercials, some commercials that really drive me up the wall. Absolutely. We're going to look at some superhero shows because we're experts at that I'm, stuff. I, I, you know, I would like to say that I may, have be, I may be a genius at that. Okay. Let's be honest. It's quite yeah. a statement. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's it's a statement. Oh, it's a statement. Oh, it's all a right. statement. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> we'll have a listener request song, as we always do. We have the the new feature, which is really kind of taken over really pop culture, social media, and that's the stand up joke of the week. <laughs> People are pretty excited by it, and uh, I loved listening. I listened to the the show. Um, after you know, we recorded it last week, and I listened to it later. And I have on recording that both of you guys like my stand-up routines. So I do. I, do. I did like your stand-up wow. routine. See, it was so there's two. There's two people who enjoy it, <laughs> and I greatly appreciate that. Absolutely. I'm a big fan. 
Well, big, big fan. I, don't, I don't know about big fan. I don't know about I'm a big fan. I'm just well, a fan. Well, you know? the most popular thing that we do, as always, is news from the Droosh. Well, this uh, is what it's all about, folks. This is why you listen. Here he is, the Droosh. Gentlemen, I just feel like I have uh, stepped into a parallel dimension. Really? Uh, there will no awesome. longer be Boy Scouts. There will be just Scouts. Girls will now be entered into the Boy Scouts. Now, I'm not against this. I just... I just dislike it. I can't really put my finger on why. I, yeah, I completely agree. Me, Especially can, with both of us being Eagle Scouts yeah. and going through the whole entire process, we this really is heavy on us. I completely the agree. Kids are happy with it. Can, can you tell the story? <clears throat> so, what's, uh, so, so, a year from now, so a year from now, girls will be allowed to join Boy Scouts. They will be, be each entered into their own dens. Okay. Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. Okay. Which I think is... The stupidest thing I've ever heard, because that's if that's the case, then why even mix them together? Okay, wait, now, wait, wait. No, so, wait, wait, so they're not to... they're not merged together. It, there's completely they are, separate but they parts. Aren't. They are. They can also covet. They can also get the Eagle Scout. The girls are allowed to get the Eagle. Scout. So no. it's just like more advanced adventure scouts. Exactly. Here's my thing. If 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 Girl Scouts wanted to teach girls how to survive in the wilderness, which I think they should. They should have been had that criteria from you, the first place. Do you two selling cookies? Do you two guys think he could survive in the wilderness? I you could. both are eagle I scouts. Could. I am not. I could. I could. The only thing I have a problem with is for some reason I suck at lighting fires. Well, if I, I always could, sucked at lighting if a I fire. Could some, I, if I, I question could, you guys being able to survive in civilization. I, I don't you. think you could survive. I could probably survive more in the woods than I could yeah. in civilization. You could, Jack. Uh, yeah. It, I, okay. Actually, I could survive if I. I would say I at least had a pocket knife on me. Or a couple matches, either, ma- either matches. Steel, we're cool. I would either okay, want a matches knife in the, in the, or a pocket knife. In the fr- you're on the plane, it goes down, it crashes. I always have a knife on me, so there's no, no way that don't. would happen. No, not, you on don't. Air, not, not on an airplane. airplane. You yeah, you're right. You're d- you know what? You're right on that one. So what you do is you get a shard of metal from the airplane, right? You sharpen it oh, down, and then you have yourself no, 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 no. Boom. Okay. Boom. 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 What the Boy Scouts of America have decided, and and you know they all love Trump too. That you know. But they <laughs> have decided that they're letting little girls become Cub Scouts at yeah. the very beginning there, or uh, next year they can try out and be Cub Scouts. Wow. Oh, so so girls? It's also do, Boy Scouts as well. Do they have to start at Cub Scouts? I don't know that m- further into it. Okay, that's so, just so I, it's all just it's all it's all going to build, it's all going to evolve as it goes along. But you were saying that when they start out as Cub Scouts, they'll be in different different dens, dens w- one gender gen- dens. That's that's if that's the case, then what's the point? Yeah, they should just be focusing just on making apart. Girl Scouts better. Yeah, that's because exactly my right. my advisor, my advisor, my trusted advisor mm-hmm. thinks that it's more of become like Girl Scouts is more of just become core of side of like a business type of yeah, thing. Yeah, because of the cookies. Because right? of the cookies. Because cookies. So using the little girls is and I completely agree that that needs or to change. I, I feel like they we like Boy Scouts sell popcorn and that's fine, but the Girl Scouts could also sell. Uh, uh, cookies and stuff like that, but at the same time, learning what the Boy Scouts are learning. And I feel like if that's the case, just improve Girl Scouts. What's the point yeah, of even putting them in the same thing if they're going to be in two different categories? And just something that kind of irks me is that people are saying that it's probably like d- it's discriminatory to yeah. not, but it's not discriminatory if boy is literally in the name. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is. And I also don't feel comfortable having my daughter, if I had a daughter, to go down to Boy Scout camp. And just because it was made before women had the right to vote, like yeah. a, more than 100 years ago, doesn't mean it's a bad rule. Doesn't no. mean it's. I what mean, do you think, Paul? You have two daughters. Well, I, can show you a I just want to mention that Gilly just walked in the room. And, and I couldn't find her song. <laughs> Tell me, friends, when you've last seen. A dog as useless as we are trying to have a conversation here. We are talking about girls and Boy Scouts. <laughs> it's about this is about Pug. Never mind, I can't touch them. He moves away when I run them. Yeah, he thinks he's better than me. A stand up. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> a pudgy, flabby mass of Okay, anyway. Okay. Anyways. So anyway, Gilly came in, I tried to get her on the air, but she left. Quickly, you guys were complaining about uh, it being the year 2017. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I was. That's, that's I was actually complaining. complaining Explain about to me a little bit. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Okay. What is it that you did in the Boy Scout that you can do with girls around? And by the way, you had Talk. all these women around anyway who 
were dressed up like Boy Scouts. At every Boy Scout event for you, 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 and you, both of you, I saw women around. Yeah. So it wasn't like you got to. I don't know. I don't. What was it? What are you gonna miss out? What are they gonna miss out on? Yeah. Oh. I will. If there's what people will. Boys censor themselves around girls a lot. Yeah. I mean, they kind of. That's probably a good idea. I mean, you know what I mean. That's kind of like a big thing about boys. Boy Scouts is that they're away from women, and then they can have locker room talk, whatever they want. They can say anything see, they want around each other. That's the problem. I that's, mean, that's, my, that's the problem I, with today's society that my generation before us grew up with that, and then we we don't know any difference, and we're out there doing things, and we're not supposed to be doing that. This will teach boys to be a little more respectful the whole time, and girls to maybe compete more with boys, as opposed to we sell cookies and we go camping. How about how about the Boy Scouts sell cookies too? They're, they're delicious. Well, they, they sell. Well, delicious. we sell yeah, boy, the Boy delicious. Scouts sell popcorn and trash bags. The po- the popcorn yeah. blows, man. I'm yeah. sorry to tell you, I've never bought it, it really or, the, or the trash bags. It really does blow. It does burns your, easily. So, does your do, are you guys selling anything? You're a uh, Cub Scout leader. Yeah, I'm a den leader for yeah. the uh, Tiger Cubs and uh, for my nephews. Are you guys pack. selling anything? Uh, they sell popcorn. Okay, and trash bags. So, I think. This is gonna. It's all gonna work out. It's all gonna be. Also, I didn't integrated. really think about the whole maybe be more respectful towards women kind of yeah. thing because I don't know. I May, just I say maybe. It maybe I here. Here's my thing. Whenever I was at Boy Scout camp, uh, we had some of the women leader using the locker room for the women, and some of the Boy Scout uh, camp guys were up on the roof watching these chicks take showers. Mm-hmm. That's well, my problem. Wait, with it. really? Yeah, they got fired and everything, but like. I just worry about that kind of thing happening, if that makes sense. Right. Well, wait. Well, you see, but here's the thing. that here, Here's my thought. Um, does this mean that there's going to be a whole entire new camp set up for the girls directly, or are they going to merge camps together? Go to People go to camp Ash. all the time, boys and girls. We're ta- no, we're talking about scout camp. I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about that I went to a camp when I was a kid with boys and girls. Yeah. And there was summer camp. It was summer camp. It's just yeah. summer camp. Yeah, but summer camps, the gen- I mean, that's different. I mean, and also, Again, that's, but that's my question. At, at the camp, that's my at the, question for at you the guys. church camps Why I've gone different? to, the church camps that I've gone to, it's mm-hmm. all been gender secluded. The girls are in this building, boys are in this. You're building. secluded from other from other uh, packs and troops or whatever you are. Yeah, but if you're all in the same, I mean, if there's boys and girls in the same campsite, I mean. What? Stuff's <laughs> gonna happen. It becomes Stuff's summer camp. It becomes gonna... summer camp, but not boy scout. Camp. Yeah, exactly. Then go to scouting camp. It turns into summer camp because there's so requirements you, think... you have to have to escalate in scouting. Everything's yeah. required, and also you. Okay, let me ask you, you this. Do make a set. Let me play devil's advocate again. Is, is this another? Is just a move? Maybe because people aren't. There's not as many boys in, involved with this. Scouting? All started from when is. a girl, her, her whole family. I think she had like brothers. They're all Eagle Scouts, and she wanted to do Eagle Scouts, so they pushed for her That's to do it. True. There's a video. It's there's a, a there's a true. Th- there's it is with a big started. a big no. thing on NBC. Because they had a, of one uh, girl, they wouldn't have done that. They're looking at the dollars and cents, and they're saying to themselves, "You know what? I noticed there's girls too. Let's get them and, and make them buy, sell popcorn, all this bull crap that we have the boys do. <laughs> yeah. Make them spend money to go sleep." Jack, I went to your Boy Scout camp. You slept on the ground, and you had to pay to go to this thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? First off, you slept in a uh, tent. I slept oh, on a, a cot. Tent. Oh, a dollar on a cot. And, and a cot. cot. And did you take a shower in the whole time? Uh, my first two years of Scout camp, basically never. But after that, third year, on to the seventh year, every night I took a shower. Yeah, you got pretty dirty. So yeah, that's why I also didn't wear sandals. I, I guess I would say people this. wore sandals. You guys being very involved in that in that program, you should be very proud of yourself with the, with the, the challenges that you I, did. I'm proud of myself. But I would say this: things change. Let's see how it works out. Maybe it will work out okay. And you're going to be on the right on the front line because you're going to have <laughs> you're going to be the Cub Scout leader. After for your after nephew. I'm doing this den leader thing, I'm just going to be a, a backseat driver and just help. Well, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be a leader. Again. Well, well, what if you have kids? Then I'll okay. Like, let me ask you this: yeah. If you have a daughter, I, I am imagining her name's going to be Paula or Pauline, <laughs> <laughs> right? Actually, Paula. my wife already picked out her our Paula, first daughter's name Paula, is Giovanni. Oh, Paula, Giovanni. Paula Lavoda. Right? That's Giovanna. not very Giovanna, good. Sorry, Giovanna. Paula Lavoda. That's not good. Pauline may work. Any, oh, anyway, anyway, okay. right? And she wants to go to scouts. What are you going to do? I guess I'll let her. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And you know why? Because and I'm all about equality. So 
I just no, think because it, you're going to be all about your daughter, right? You want them right. the same opportunity mm. because think about this. Mm. See, uh, am I making you think too much? No, you're you're playing devil's advocate for a reason. As far as this, as it's, far as equality and who gets opportunities, let's say I want both of you guys to answer this question. There is you guys are on a cruise ship, okay. and there's a lifeboat, and your dad, your father is there deciding between you and your sister who gets the lifeboat. There's only one of you. Who does he choose? He chooses my sister. He chooses my sister. Well, there you go. That's called. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> when, men Jack, are, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. Men are caring oh, about. Oh, okay, bye. Men are caring about that. That's right. My dad will be like, "All right, well, your your sister's getting on this boat, and we're going down with the ship, bud." <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad I can swim and everything like that. Okay, thanks, Kermit. Thanks, Kermit. Go have another bottle. Yeah. So, so I'm sorry that upset you, but the good news is. That okay, we hold ha- on. Let me let me make something yeah. perfectly clear. I'm not upset. I wanted to have a discussion, and that's exactly okay. what I had. But you're going to be skeptical and see how it works out, right? Yeah, I'm going to check it out. I mean, I'm going to be there for my nephew, so I'm going to be seeing this thing. Well, let me tell you this too. So it's fine. There is there there is clear studies that women do better at girls only schools growing up mm. because they're not around boys who raise their hand quicker. Who are do physically- boys do better in only boys only schools? Then I've never. I, I don't know about that one. I just know about the the girls only because mm, so that's sexist. They, <laughs> they they begin to compete with each other. They build bonds. They're, they're not. They're not. They boys, hate each other boys, quietly. Boys are, are running around. <laughs> Their boys are running around. They Elliot's answer questions though, quicker, yeah. and then makes women or girls not as loud, not mm-hmm. as to speak out. Right. Yeah. So, are we losing that? Good thing where girls can just go ahead and be in the Girl Scout and enjoy themselves and not have to compete with some smelly boy all the time. I mean, they are going to have to compete anyway. That's why, what I'm saying. Why are they going to yeah. be smelly? I'm. <laughs> we do stink, man. Okay, we're men. We do stink. Do you not know that you stink? What? I stink all the time, bro. <laughs> I smell like I smell well, like ass. We're going to add this to, we're add this to the podcast: a smell of vision, where Jack smells really bad. Thank you. But the good news is. That was a discussion. Let's 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 monitor that one. Yeah, I'll keep it going. Yeah, because I don't. Cause I heard that news too, and and I'm so cynical. I just think it's money. I just think you know what. And I they're and adding right. kids, it, and they're saying that's exactly you know what? what it is. We have we can only go to half the kids now. Let's make all the kids able to give us money. That's what I think it was. I think they're also. I think Boy Scouts is also kind of dying out a little bit. Too, and I think maybe this is a way to revamp. It. Yeah, I think the I think the only way Boy Scouts is surviving is from fathers who were Eagle Scouts picking and putting their sons. But in here's it. A, here's or, the thing: or Scouts that didn't get to Eagle but wish they did and putting them in. Here's there. the thing: so I'm at the I'm at this pack, and I've only met one dude who has claws, hard way. He, wow, there's I mean he's not honorary or anything like that. He went the whole time. And does the claws mean that you're Eagle Scout? Or no, those are it's all make a say thing. I, for that I assume that he also got Eagle Scout along the way. So not very many people get Eagle Scout, but gentlemen. I mean, most people. I think it's also required that you can't do Warrior unless you have Eagle Scout. Nope, it's a uh, Life Scout. Well, uh, yeah, I got. Let's cause... monitor that and let's. Uh, we, I mean, we're we're taking a long time on this one, but the good news is we have a new feature called Tech Talk with Jack. Okay, me and me and uh, Uncle Paul discussed this earlier. LG is. I don't want people to know that you're my uncle when we're broadcasting. I'm not your uncle. But, you are my uncle. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to even know you. <laughs> it's all right, Paul. Um, LG come out with a new TV called the. It's, just, it's 77. It, oh. Whatever you say, Uncle Paul, you're my favorite guy. Thanks. Thanks, Kermit. Samsung's. Our LG is coming out with a new 77 inch TV. And it's wallpaper. It's called the wallpaper. It's about a couple millimeters thick. That's cool. And TVs are never that, that thin. So the way that they compensate for that is that. There's a cable that runs down the back of the TV, and it connects to this sound bar, this huge sound bar. And not only is it a sound bar, but that's where all the technology is for the TV is. So with the TV, you get a sound bar and the actual TV itself with a super thin TV that looks really nice, and it's a beautiful OLED, AMOLED display. That's awesome. It's that also 4K, awesome, it's smart TV and everything. Because I'm telling you, that's the way of the future. Right there, eventually we're just going to have these flexiglass-looking TVs that just project... Images on those to be attached you, to your wall. So how do you plug it in? I guess I guess without the, an attachment, that, 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 the wire that, goes that, to the that thing. wire. It's like a thin, like flat cable. It's white, and um, that goes to 
it goes to the guts of the whatever the TV is or the computer now, yeah. and, and then, then, and then the, the sound, the sound bar, the box plugs into the wall. How much one of these run, Jack? I'll buy. How much does it cost? I'll figure it out right now. Um, uh, let's see, seventy-seven inch wallpaper TV. <laughs> Sorry, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> okay, been. so that oh, we're looking. You're looking at about uh, fourteen ninety-nine. Ni- Fourteen nine 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 dot nine nine, fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars for a television. It'll be interesting to see when the price of that drops because technology. That's what happens. And that's Jack's tech talk, everyone. Yep, that's thank you. Just all I have is two minutes of that song, and that's mm-hmm. all I can last. That's all we can last, <laughs> Jack. Yeah. So, boy, we uh, boy, oh boy, we kind of came in a little <laughs> feeling low, <laughs> but uh, we talked about something very serious and near and dear to your heart. I was only playing the devil advocate. I understand the challenge. No, you're supposed to play devil advocate. That's okay. a discussion. That's how it goes. Okay. Well, thank Someone's you. Someone's supposed to disagree and then bring up different points. That's a discussion. Okay. Socrates. Bam. Well, I appreciate that. We'll we'll take our first break and then we'll be back with more of uh, lots of jocularity, a lot of fun, and a lot of goodness going on on the week review. KCTK. I am so excited to talk about Rosie's uh, Supermart because they have all the fun things that you have. Uh, they have some amazing deals going on there. So check them out at 24 Highway. They have a Skyrest travel pillow for only $29.95. They have silver eggplant sculptures for $24.95. They have a delicious scroll tree climber sculpture for $34.95. Hey, don't you want a Serenity Cat Pot? Sure. It's only $1,000. They have a plush referee turkey hat. It comes in a three-pack for $68.85. In God's Hands Cat Memorial Statue, $59.95. The Offering Wall Sculpture. It's a sculpture that holds all your stuff for $29.95. It all, we also have the T-Rex Dinosaur Trophy Freeze for $99.95. A wrist cell phone carrier for twenty nine ninety five, large. Oh wait, we have more to do here. And this is in beer for nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine. There's an Alpha Fusion personal sauna system relax, and it's an, your own egg pod that you can get into it. It's only for fifteen thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. Plus diet water, get a twenty pack for only eighteen ninety nine. Get all of this and more at Rosie's. If you own a computer, here's how to get the most out of it without buying lots of expensive software. Get ready to write down a phone number and watch this. CompuServe combines the power of your computer with the convenience of your telephone to bring you hundreds of online services, like a complete set of encyclopedias and the AP Newswire. It helps you decide on investments, bank, make airline reservations, and shop in the electronic mall. It connects you with other computer owners and offers games that pit you against opponents around the country. You get all this and more, and it's as simple as making a local phone call. To get online with CompuServe and over a half million people throughout North America, See your local computer store or call 1-800-522-4477 for a free informative brochure about CompuServe. Call now to get the most out of your computer. Welcome back. Thanks to our sponsor, Rosie's Supermart, and our new sponsor, CompuServe. Sounds like a lot of fun things to do <laughs> and everything. So, uh, we are going to talk about and do some reviews of some current commercials. And if you remember how this segment started, it started because I hate commercials. I've decided I'm not going to watch any of the new fall programs live. 
That's why I like uh, taping everything and then yes. fast forwarding. Right. I call it a DV. I call it DVR. Yeah. Right. Right. But the problem is if you're watching the live sporting event. Yeah. That's they're the not as stupid. They're they're so infuriating. That's one thing I hate about watching sporting events is the fact that half of it mm-hmm. is all commercial. Right. And it's annoying. Right. It's not even like funny. It's annoying. Yeah, they're. Th- I agree. Thanks, Jack. They're. Oh, I don't even remember the numbers. I shouldn't even bring it up, but. Most of the most of the uh, three hour football game, there's only like a very small portion that's actually action. Yeah, it's stupid. It's commercials, it's timeouts, and everything else. Yeah, but you watch it, don't you? Sixty minutes. I mean, that's about how long I think each game actually is. Yeah, like actually supposed to be. But don't you watch it though, right? Yeah, I watch it. Though. Yeah, of course you can't. You I can't watch baseball it. as well. You can't miss it. No. What's funny is there's less commercials in baseball than there's football. Yeah, isn't that weird? And then the guys have to do it. So. There is a commercial that is out that just basically infuriates me. And it is from, let's see if I can find it here. It is from uh, an outfit called 23andMe. And <laughs> what these people do, let me see if we can try to bring it up here on whoa, camera whoa, for whoa. you guys. Don't tell us what the commercial is before we watch it. Let us figure it out for ourselves. Well, I, I just... They're trying to sell genetic uh, background checks. Okay, it's so like ancestry.com. It's exactly like it. So, so like it's you can tell what diseases and stuff you can so get. So you can find no. out your victim. No, it just sees what your background is. So did you watch? Let's take a okay. let's take a look at this one. And all you're gonna hear is is a, a music, <sighs> but I'm gonna read what the word says and try to describe it to you. It says follow your DNA around the world. With a woman riding a motorbike. Woman riding a motorbike, she, and the woman, she's an attractive woman. She looks uh, very unique. She looks like she could be part African American, maybe part Asian. She has a very distinct look. Can you? Would you guys agree with that? Agreed. Agreed. Okay. So she's driving and she's stopping. Are those pyramids back there? No, those are mountains. No, mountains the, back there. This is she, a this is a rice field. And she looks like she's talking to someone in a rice field. It's a, it looks like a child. Oh, now she's at the beach. I think she might be in the now, Philippines. Now she's at the beach. Now she's at the bar. Now, now she's with a bunch of friends drinking, and it pops up on the screen, 29% East Asian. Okay? And she's around a bunch of Asian people. She's having a time of her life. Check her out. Okay, now she's in the sand in a dune buggy. Okay? I wonder if you can hear this, folks. This lady's got to have some money. You are precisely and now, okay, she's in the dune buggy. She's jumping the dunes in the sand. It's all sand around there like a desert. And then the next thing you see, she's getting a massage, and it pops up 12% Middle Eastern. My cup of tea. Okay, next scene is she's laying looks like, like, looks she's like a lake. in the Dead Sea. But in a lake, yeah. maybe, right? Dead Sea, there's no water. Getting to know oh, you now she's kicking a soccer ball with a lot of looks looks like they're African people, right? Getting to feel she's having a time of her life. She's she's there. She's kicking the ball because that's what they do. They kick. They don't play football. <laughs> they play football and it's soccer to you and I, to you, 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 and you. <laughs> okay. And oh, oh, they, but the well, wait! It just <laughs> popped up. She's 46% West African. And guess what? what she's doing? Drew, what is she doing now? She's dancing. She's dancing. <laughs> she's, dancing. she's dancing in the middle of the street she's because dancing. that's what you would do. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, now oh, we're in an icy scene, part. I wonder where this is going. changed quite a bit. <laughs> it's an icy lake. Hot with, to cold. With some mountains, with some snow on them, and an icy lake. Oh, oh my gosh. She's, she's just got out of there, and it looks like she's cold. <laughs> But now she's in the sauna, and it says 3% Three. Scandinavian. Oh, but now she's laughing, having a time of her life. 10% Nicole. That's uh, 100%, she is. 100%. 100% Nicole. Oh, sorry about that. Here's, okay. Learn more about you with 23andMe.com okay. and win a trip to explore how your DNA connects you to the world. Be one of 23 winners over 23 days. Enter by August 3rd. Details at 23andMe.com. So I get my DNA test. Apparently, I can go on a trek around the world and just 
Yeah. Spend all that money. <laughs> so here's what <laughs> that infuri- makes sense. Here's what infuriates well, me. That's, oh. She doesn't know who she is. So she okay, that's the whole thing. They're trying to teach you not know who you are. So now she can fit in. She's kicking soccer balls. Yeah. She's getting a massage. She's on the dune buggies. But she's having a great grand old time because Like I, I totally get the commercial. Mm-hmm. Like it, it makes total sense. Like she's she figures out, Oh, this is where I come from. Let's go around and see where we come from. But it just it's weird that she just is becoming friends with all these people. Yes. It's just like, oh my god, we're the same. We can be buddies now. Right. Wait, that's not really it. Yeah, she figures out who she is. She'll go visit the places. That's cool. But she's now best friends with... That. You're like, oh, we're the same. Let's be friends. You, yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, you wouldn't do that. And, and then... Nope. For, first of all, nope. she's 29% East Asian. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Everything in Asia is East. The next thing she is is West Africa. <laughs> So she, so she's part of half and twelve percent Middle Eastern, <laughs> right? Right. I mean, what's what that mean? If you're, uh, you know, you're from West Africa, that's the one of the biggest. Wow. The, world. the yeah. only one that's bigger is Asia, and you're from the east of there. <laughs> it doesn't tell you anything at all. All this is doing is getting people to do this to divide us. Yeah. I don't have this place in life, so I want to know what I am. So now that you know that you're from West Africa, you're really going to go there and play soccer with them? No, no you're not. You're going to stay home. And, and I like, need oh, to tell cool. you this. You're not special. <laughs> you're, 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 oh, you got 3% Scandinavian. So what? No, no one, one cares. I'm, a, I'm Italian and Irish. You see me bragging about it. You think you are, right? Yes. But I'm, obviously, I'm, you could be 29% so East Asian. You I, don't know. I could also be partly more German because my mom's German. But you could be the, Scandinavian, too. I was going to ask you this. Okay, so from, from my family, I know that I'm Sicilian, right? Yes. English. Uh, Irish. Uh, there's probably some German in there, I think. Mm-hmm. But, like, so what? Yeah. So I do – if I did this – this thing, they'd find out you're from Europe, <laughs> Asia, and Africa. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow! <laughs> really? I, think I, I didn't remember even talking know to that. somebody about this last Saturday. They yeah. were like, they're like, yeah, we. Uh, he's like, I did the test, and it told me I was uh, part European. And I'm like, no, <laughs> right. no shit, right. I'm part European. Right. No kidding. Right. Wait, but, uh, did they do the? 23 and me. They did the ancestry. But what's so dangerous about it, I think, not, and I'm going to say dangerous, is that everything in our society is to divide everybody. And this is just another reason to divide people. As opposed to, I'm an American, and I, I'm just like a mutt. I'm a mixture of everyone that came over here. What difference does it make? Yeah. I say you're not special. Do you know why? Because you are special. Everyone's special. It yeah. doesn't make a difference if you have that 3% Scandinavian or it doesn't make a difference. I'm you're a, a human snowflake. being. Right. Yeah. You're a human being, and that should be it. You want to know also the reason why you're not special? is because apparently they've also proven that fingerprinting is a false uh, uh-huh. science. Because apparently two people can have the same fingerprints. So guess oh, what? Wow. You're not special. Wow. Uh, well, uh, yeah. then, then I, here's I, another thing. I can believe yeah. people having similar, very closely similar <laughs> fingerprints. No way they can have the exact same one. But That's the, actually untrue. Because I don't believe that. Because this dude went to jail for it. Wow. And he got out because there was another dude that had the same fingerprints. I Interesting. Eh, I, eh. But, and see, this also doesn't tell you, like, Ancestry.com at least tells you, like, your background. Like, I, it'd be interesting to say your great-great-great-grandfather Hun. fought in the Civil War. Well, that's interesting to know. Yeah. I mean, but that's something. That's But that has nothing to do with me, right? Yeah. Hasn't. I just think it divides it. And Ancestry does the same thing. Let's see. Um, with the one that just infuriates me the most. Here it is. Kyle. It, this is Ancestry.com, oh, and this is... Kyle. Kyle. This is Kyle. Growing up, we were German. We danced in a German dance group. I wore lederhosen. When I first got on Ancestry, I was really surprised that I wasn't finding all of these Germans in my uh, tree. I decided to have my DNA tested through Ancestry DNA. The big sur- Okay, so he's on Ancestry because he's German. But he's not finding enough Germans. Yeah. And he needs to prove. He's like, I, I know yeah. I'm German. I need to prove yeah. them wrong. Take I, my I'm DNA. Have to, I'm going to have to take the DNA that so I, I already paid this company for to tell me I'm not I live German. in New York. Right. <laughs> right. The surprise was we're, we're not German at all. He, they're not German at all. He's been wasting <laughs> all this time wearing those leader hosens and dancing, and he's not even German? 
2% of my DNA comes from Scotland and Ireland. Wow. So. Oh, no. So, <laughs> Got to so change it up now. He's Irish and Scottish, right? Yeah. This is a guy, supposedly. It's all fake, right? It's not true. He grew up around his family. He probably had Doreener schnitzels or whatever <laughs> German people eat. I don't know. What do they have? I don't know. Bratwurst? Did, what? They <laughs> Brat. also got strudels. Um, they also have Strudel. They have Holocaust. They have all kinds of stuff. <laughs> German people. And he probably had a bonding experience with somebody in his family where they had that. But this guy don't give, don't give a shit. He's going to listen to Ancestry.com. I traded in my lederhosen for a kilt. Ancestry. You do know when you live in America, you, re- you resort to the culture around you? So right. why don't you just resort to American? I'm just thinking of, of the times that I was with my grandfather or my father-in-law, and they were Italian, and they would make Italian food. And I think about those times. And, uh, you know, that was a pretty good time. What if you were if they, actually Asian? If they come back and said you're Asian, I'd be like, I hate you. I, I never liked that pasta. Uh, I'm Asian and everything. Oh, uh, I was eating spaghetti this whole time. Right. <laughs> Where's my having s- rice noodles? This is bowl. Right. Where is my curry? <laughs> so he traded in. He didn't just, you know, get, uh, 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 buy a, a new kill. one. He traded it in, and again to divide, to say I'm special, and he's not. It's it, he's not. Here's another one that's irritating as well. Okay. I thought I married an Catherine Italian. And Eric. My lineage oh, was God. the Vecchios and Zuccolis through ancestry to the DNA. Okay, so, okay, it's a couple. Z- Z- and she starts with the way she starts it though is like, I uh, I thought I married an Italian, Italian. but I, guess what? I was not. wrong. <laughs> I did not. I mean, isn't that just crazy? I thought I married an Italian, but <laughs> that's like my wife saying, I thought I married a Sicilian. Well, no, because I have a red beard and I'm also part Irish, so I don't know what to tell you. Hi, Gilly. Hey, it's Gilly. Gilly is here, so that's really wonderful. Thanks, Gilly. But she thought she married an Italian. I guess what happened was she told the guy to get what, I mean, you're, I don't know if you're Italian because um, we're going to have to check this out. You're going to have to do this. Because I don't think you're an Italian. There's no way you're, that you're an Italian simply because your dick's small. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, Gilly. Hi, Gilly. Gilly? Gilly's on camera. I like big hooks and I cannot lie. Never let a hook pass me by. You can get hot dogs from It's a corn nut. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it. Eat it, little doggy. She might not like it. Don't give it to her if she doesn't want it. Okay, don't give the dog food, yeah. okay? <laughs> All right, so... Okay, so we're still complaining about this... Uh, uh, Commercial. I, okay. I thought I married... Would you please had, restart it? I, I thought I married a guy in a little dick, so I knew he was an Italian. I thought I married an Italian. Mm. My lineage was yeah. the Vecchios and Zuccolis. Through ancestry to the DNA, I found out that... I was only 16% Italian. He was 34% Eastern Europe. Okay, time out, time out. <laughs> if you're 16% Italian, you're still Italian. You're Italian. <laughs> you're still Italian. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, I, I did know that. Yeah, that's, but, you're probably about 16% Italian. I am. I'm 16% you, Italian. You, 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 and you are, you are too, probably. Yeah. Me? Yeah. But instead what? of being Italian... He, he is. See no, how that's a dividing question when uh, I just yeah, said, don't even what's do your that. mom from? I have no idea. I have no idea, honestly. But, but he has. Sorry, mom. Is it American? Probably, <laughs> I don't know. The chart on this guy is 34% Eastern Europe. What does that mean? You could throw a rock <laughs> from Italy Europe. to Eastern Europe. It's yeah. the same damn thing. <laughs> So I went on to Ancestry, soon learned that one of our ancestors we thought was Italian was Eastern European. This is my ancestor. And now she hates this guy because yeah, she's were. like, I don't know if I want to stay married to him. I yeah. thought I was I knew an Italian his, man. I knew his marinara sauce was off. So. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know about. He looks a little bit like me, yes. Ancestry has I been thought I was to marrying an Italian man so and what? I have a type and this is not my so type. what's the advantage of knowing that? Not nothing. She not, a damn, not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Okay, here's another one that infuriates me too. 
I wanted to know who I am and I wanted to know who I am. I don't know who I am. You are forty looking like forty or something and you don't know who you are. You look like you're pretty well dressed and your hair's done. Her name is I'm Kim. pretty sure you're oh, Well here's what you do. Sorry. You 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 go to you go to the therapist, you pray, you meditate, figure out who you are, lady. Come on. Anyway, she wanted to know where I came from. She wouldn't know where she came where do I come from? <laughs> You came from America, lady. That's where you came from. Probably Cleveland or some boring Chicago. piece of garbage place like that. I don't know. I did my ancestry DNA, and I couldn't wait to get my pie chart. You, well, you had you, to. You <laughs> had no choice. <laughs> Damn it! I was going to say, you had to wait. She couldn't wait, but she had to wait. <gasps> wait I couldn't wait. Well, okay, did you... Hold on. Before we get any further, did yeah. you watch South Park? Uh, this last one? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Where everybody does Ancestry.com and realizes that they're a victim and they're proud to be a victim. <laughs> right. Victim of what? Now let's get to it. That's right. The victim most of shocking what? result was that I'm 26% Native American. I had no idea. Just to know this is what I'm made of, this is where my ancestors came from, oh, and she bought I artifacts, absolutely too. want to know more <laughs> about my Native American heritage. So, so this lady... What is part Native American? She's shocked by it. She didn't even know that this happened. Now, of course, she grew up with white privilege and had no problem with that. <laughs> yeah. So she, so she had every advantage of a white person. And buying right? apparently you know pottery and statues make you Native American. But now, you know what else? But if now you, being 2007 was boring to be a white person. 2007? She, Just kidding. 2017. <laughs> what did it say? 2017. It's the 90s, isn't it? No, it's, <laughs> now it's boring. She wants something else. What hey, you see, here's my thing. Nobody's gonna find out that. They're Scottish. After learning all these, like, go back to the German guy. He's learned all these German things. Right. And he's find out that he's Scottish. Nobody's going to take the time to go, oh, better learn all the Scottish customs now. Right. No, no, no. Everyone's going to be like, oh, that's cool. Right. I'm, okay. <laughs> that's it. It's opened up a whole new world for me. Discover the story. Oh, it's opened up a whole new world. Discover you your story at Ancestry.com. You didn't she bother could, with that world before? She could have easily learned it. I could easily learn it right now if I wanted to. Exactly. All these cultures could easily be learned. Here's my question. It's not a problem. How are they getting the DNA? Are they... Pissing in a cup and then sending it off in the mail. How does that work? Okay, well, I guess it's uh, from what I don't. I think it's a <laughs> blood know. test. Is it a blood test? Is this a local? Know, is Ancestry. And, 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 and the local South thing? Park episode, they had to do a cotton swab in his mouth, so he made out with a Native American, so that he had Native American DNA in his mouth. Oh, like, yes, it goes. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so that's, let's move on. That's that is the uh, the, the commercials that just drive me crazy because I think we have enough. Reasons to divide. We don't need another reason to do my genetic and find out that oh, I'm Sicilian, but part of that Sicilian lineage is from Africa, and part of it's from Eastern. I kind of hope I'm Norwegian. <laughs> Just you want to know what you're, you know what you get. Here's you the thing. get northeastern European. <laughs> that is <laughs> you're I'm tell you right no, now. You're no, Norwegian. Not Norwegian. You're a boring white kid <laughs> from Missouri. I'm sorry. I apologize, but that's what you are. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So enjoy your white privilege. It's running out. <laughs> just enjoy that. So that is the commercial. Uh, just go around the, the horn. I say no to those commercials. <laughs> they make me mad. I'll vote no. I'll vote no, vote too. no? Yeah. Okay, that's unanimous. <laughs> okay, let's go to something a little more positive here. And, boy, we're taking a lot of time talking. Boy, we have boy, a, okay, oh boy. We have good discussions. Who cares? I feel like I'm just learning stuff. Okay, superhero <laughs> shows. I... I'm excited about the new shows that come out. When I was a kid, the only thing we had was Super Friends. Mm. That was it. On Sunday on Sunday mornings, right? Or Saturdays? Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings, of course. Uh, <laughs> Sunday this kid right here. Did you, did you even watch? Did you used to watch Saturday morning cartoons? I don't want. I didn't know. I don't think I ever really watched cartoons. That's fantastic. Yeah, All right, so let's move cool. on. So anyway, okay. So you haven't watched Drew. You haven't watched the Supergirl and the Flash. Uh, not the new season, no. Okay, these are great shows because Supergirl this it's season. Cute. She's real cute. She is so cute. They have, um, oh, what was the name of the villain that came on? I want to say Doctor Fair, Doctor Evil, not Fair Play. Uh, anyway, it was someone from the comic books. It was a bad guy, and then and the the main enemy this season is someone called Rain. Have you heard of her? Uh, is I'll turn it down, Jack. <laughs> uh, I think I have. I feel like I have. So she's like a mutant, mutant, rep- mutant uh, Kryptonian, or. Uh, R E I N. Yeah, R E I G N. So I really like the way that they incorporate all of the stuff from the comic books into that. Now, the Flash, not to give it away, but he comes back, obviously, faster than ever, 
and uh, they have the samurai is against him. Yeah, I don't know who that villain is. I, I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, he's from the comic books. He's a, he makes samurais that are mm-hmm. robots. And there is a really cool uh, image in the show where Flash is on the end of his sword. Just exactly like in the comic books. It's, That's cool. It's cool. They What's do his name? The Samurai. Just called the Samurai? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I know this chick. Yeah, so I'm happy with... She can, like, mutate her body, right? I don't know. They haven't really done anything with the show, on her show yet, but I know she's from the comic books. She's a world killer. Yeah. Yeah, That's So, cool. I mean, you don't watch those, though. Uh, no, I, I I watch them. Okay, so I don't have cable, mm-hmm. and so most of the time I wait for like a year and then probably watch them on Netflix mm-hmm. or on Hulu. Okay. Um, I also have the CW app. It sucks. It's not a good app. Um, but you got to keep up with me, man. I yeah, I'm, need I'm to trying talk about to. This. Believe me, Super I'm trying Girl's to. my favorite show. Yeah, I love that. She's just adorable. Yeah. Um, there was uh, there was one episode I just I couldn't stand the crossover with her and Flash. Yeah, some are some are, the musical shit was just some are stupid. Like, what? But overall, I like them because I'm going to compare it to a show, another show I watched called Marvels Inhumans. Okay, can you so tell let me, me know every, that can was. you tell everybody what the Inhumans okay, are? Okay, so the Inhumans were uh, they in their own right. They had their own planet. Uh, there was a royalty the and moon it was is where they live. Well, on. they live now. Yeah. They were from a different planet. Um, and it died, and they ended up setting shop in the moon, and they all have superpowers. Uh-huh. And Black Bolt, he has a power of s- the speech kind of thing, where right. if he, he talks, talk. it can destroy everything right. with just a sound wave. Mm-hmm. So he, he can't speak. So, uh, so he has a dog, if I remember correctly, the dog... Um, Lockjaw. Lockjaw, thank you. Lockjaw talks for him, correct? Not in this show. Oh, okay. Well, in the show, in the comic books, he usually has them, or his wife talks for him. Yeah, Medusa. 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 Okay, so here's... The the Inhumans, really, what they really are, are extra characters. Yeah, well, they the reason why they actually are starting to do this TV show, because it got such a big uh, fan base when the X-Men went up against the Inhumans, this last comic book uh, series that the came out. The Inhumans are <clears throat> so stupid. They're stupid in the comic books. Medusa? Medusa is from... She does her hair. She has like a hair. Yeah, power. but why would she, if she's an alien, be named Medusa, based on the Greek mythology in Medusa? Because her it, hair. It I is don't. so so stupid. I couldn't watch the whole show. I, I had to turn it off. It's so stupid. The only way they can transport is the dog that looks like a big pug. He's actually Lockjaw. a giant uh, mutated bulldog. Well, he doesn't look like a bulldog. He's he looks like to. a pug, uh, well, and he can trans. And it's just so. Stu- I think Marvel has lost it. I think they're trying Defenders too hard to do stuff. Defenders sucked. Yeah, they, they take up too much time. Marvel's off the track. I think their next. Uh, when it comes to their TV shows, I think they're off track. Well, no, Daredevil's great. I love Daredevil, though. Uh, they, well, we haven't seen that in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they're coming up with a new season next year. Well, we'll see so. how that goes. But I also think their next movie's going to suck. Which the one? Next, uh, Black Panther? No. Black Panther looks good. No, Thor? I'm talking about the next Thor Avengers. Thor, oh, because, Infinity War. Because maybe maybe Thor will be okay. With, it's a two yeah. part. It's a two part film. There'll be two. It Infinity looks, War. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, be two, too stupid because it's have too many these stupid characters that Marvel does. Um, it's dumb. So don't <laughs> watch Inhumans. Inhuman. Okay, cool. Okay, and then the other thing I want to ask you about. I see a show. Because I listen, I watch the the um, Adult Swim, and then you turn on the morning. There's a show called Teen Titans Go. Are you familiar with this? Yeah. So I am. the Teen Titans was always the coolest thing ever when I was a kid. Because I loved was, the Teen it Titans. It was Robin and Speedy and the Teen Titans. The Teen Titans and Wonder up Girl. Cool. Yeah, the Teen Titans from the from when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, they that was great. So so it was always like the junior members, and they were together, and yeah, it was the awesome. Sidekicks. They were sidekicks. But then later in in the comic books. They, it was other just kind of teenage kids. That well, that, did that, that, right? that was yeah. They ended, up, they ended up branching out and getting teenage kids, but it is all the, also other sidekicks. Yeah, that, other side, but yeah. really the age group. They're, is they're the pretty thing. much they're pretty much the Justice League is grooming them to take over whenever they're done. So pretty but much. Then they did a TV show, Teen Titans, which was which was Robin. Yeah. Starfire, Cyborg. Raven, Cyborg, and Beast Boy. Correct. And that was kind of a cool. It, it was great. Group. I love that. I, I love yeah, I Beast Boy. I love Beast Boy. Personally. And Teen Titans Go is an off brand of that. Okay, That's what so sucks. Teen Titans Go is like a comedy show with yeah, them. It's I don't just understand a joke. it. It's just a joke. That's why I don't like it. It's not. It doesn't. I feel like it's just making fun of the com- making fun of the it, characters it, themselves. Completely. And it, it's. I, I I don't like it. And, and you know what sucks is. 
It's insanely popular. It is. Oh my but god! It's got to be popular I was at for school. Like, they like five year old kids. Yeah. it's got to be for real little kids, right? Yeah, like my nephew likes it. Kids at my animators uh-huh. at my school loved it. I hated it. I can't stand it because it's just it's just making fun of it. And it like Robin's all serious. He's like they all think he's trying to be funny, but he's just being all serious and wanting to be getting go and stuff. And he's like. In the regular Teen Titans it's show. Like was, yeah, it's like Looney Tunes. Yeah, that's literally Tunes. what it is. Yeah. Warner Brothers just decided to make it Looney Tunes Out of superheroes. With, with superheroes. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't know if it and but, but that's off of the other Teen Titans cartoon yeah. that I yeah. saw. I did Teen see an Titans, episode. Go! I, see an op, uh, I saw where the Teen Titans were with the Doom Patrol. Have you seen that one? Yeah, that's a good one. That's, that was a good episode. That was good stuff. Yeah. Mancala and uh, what was he called? The Brain? Is that what he's called? The Brain. Mancala. Elastigirl, Robot Man. Those Although, are those are old school comic book characters. I have one thing to put in. Yeah. In has has Cyborg always been a part of the Justice League or the Teen Titans? Teen Titans. So why is he being put in the Justice League? Um, I think they're doing it because. Uh, okay, so the Cause, original cause seven. The first time I saw him in there was Injustice. Injustice was the first time I saw like Cyborg like as a thing. That's fine. Uh, the thing is, is like. Um, okay, so how am I, how am I going to explain this? So they the need original a black guy. That's that's what it is. I mean, maybe. Yeah. I mean, they had John Stewart though. Well, they didn't want to do Green Lantern. I don't know Cause why. Because the, the Green Lantern movie. Was oh yeah, because they're going to do Green Lantern Corps. Right. So. So. Who knows? That brings us to uh, the Justice League yep. last week. I honestly just don't like how they made Cyborg look in this. Well, last weekend He's too they CGI. had. You know, looks, look, he, let me set this up. The last weekend they had. Uh, Comic Con in New York, and they released the last trailer for Justice League um, before it comes out in November. So, you guys help me describe this and tell me what you think. The first thing we see is Cyborg. Let's do it. Flash, Flash Wonder Woman, Batman, Batman. Cyborg, Aquaman, Batman. Okay, here we go. This one threw me through a loop. Yeah, this is interesting. Now, and remember how you're saying that they're paying someone to digitally enhance the beard off of him or the mustache? Yeah. If that's how it is right there, I mean, I'm not disappointed. It looks really good. So, what what they're showing is the Lois Lane is looking at a cornfield and looks out and sees Clark, Clark Kent, Clark Superman Kent. standing there. Can't say Superman, he's not in the suit. Although, he's always Superman. No beard, no mustache. I'll take that as a yes. Referencing. What? The- Thank you. The ring. So then she wakes up. She was dreaming. Yes. Superman's still dead. Superman. Violence, acts of war, and terrorism are all on the rise. I had a dream. It was the end of the world. So that's that a, shit. That's Batman, Batman says that pisses me off. I had a dream that the world ended. Yeah, he did. Why that. the hell is this dude he getting premonitions? I know I, that's my problem with it. Why is he also getting premonitions? I want to know about that. They should connect that maybe with Harbinger or somebody else who sees the future. And no, is like he did it because Flash comes mind. back in time and tells him. Right? No, remember he ends up having a dream about. Do you remember? Superman. Do you remember Batman vs Superman when Flash comes and tells him? Yeah, Lois Lane is the key. Is the key? It? Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't mean that I just can't. We'll just keep going. It looks like a bunch of aliens are battling. Actually, no. It's Amazons fighting men. No, fighting who? Look, men and uh, par- uh, parademons. Those are aliens. I can't call them aliens. Parademons. They're parademons. I know, but they're aliens. Might yeah. as well use the correct terminology. Jesus <laughs> well, how, how are people supposed to know who they are? They look like aliens. They work for Dark Side. It's the end of the world. I, a lot of people don't this know is that. This Steppenwolf. People don't know that. <laughs> My thing about this movie is that it... I hope that it's good, but it looks very CGI'd up. Very. And I just hope it's not too much. I think it's something more. Something darker. So it looks like an alien invasion. I like this November. Song. Mission Gordon is calm Batman. There he is in his plane. We're asking people we don't know to Doc risk their lives. The strong man as strong as alone. You ever heard that? That's not a saying. That's the opposite of what the saying is. Dude, that's that right there. I don't know. 
That looks way that explosion with the rock and the the yeah. bullet casing. It's just too. It looks too fake to Is me. Is there anything new on this though that we're seeing from this? Uh, we saw. So, I saw more new things like with Aquaman. Okay, yeah. I did. Yeah. We are not enough. Because yeah, you can like already this. tell that there will be a fight scene with Aquaman. And, uh, yeah. and Atlantis with Steppenwolf. The world needs Superman. Okay. There is a there is a uh, Batman or Bruce Wayne is looking at like it looks a like hologram. a red it looks like a red cape is there. It's a hologram. Okay. Now, he, can I say something quick? No. They're just showing all the different heroes doing stuff and running around, having fight. We'll fight you and and brought you together. Right ain't over yet. Oh man. So that's Aquaman is a badass. Batman. I will say I'm really excited for Aquaman. That's all. He's the soul. Yeah. And, and it looks like it's just a complete disaster going on. Yeah, that is just going to town on the <laughs> Oh. This is... Awesome. As a bat signal, that's your... Oh. So Flash, he flashes the bat signal and then says loudly to Batman, they're all in their secret identities, Oh, that's you. Your signal, that means we have to go now. Yeah, that's, that's what that means. It's so cool. I just, I just can't. See, I just can't stand Ezra Miller as Fosh. I just can't. So, it, that, well, I don't know. It looks cool. It doesn't really tell me more about what's going on, but... I know that you don't like The Flash. No, but for I, some reason, I like The Flash. That, not that, I, Ezra Miller as Flash. I, whenever I picture Flash, me... Of course, I'm not as big of a person as you are, but big that's... Big of a person. <laughs> Well, Big of a comic book nerd. Well, that's what he's saying. Yeah, I. Yeah. That's what I picture the Flash being. Some kid. I won't say he's a kid, but he just. Well, you know what? That's the like, thing. Whenever, Wally like West is last, like that. Like Wally in, in West is last, like that, but not Barry Allen. In the last trailer, he sits there and he goes, "I've only like pushed people away. I've never done battle before. I just I was like that's probably something that would happen. That's not the thing though. Flash. Flash is awesome. Barry Allen actually knows how to fight. He's not some puss. So, so <laughs> that's so. Wally West. Forward, yes, has no experience. I'm looking forward to this, and we're gonna pick it. I bet we'll pick it apart and like some of it, hate Although, some of it. But what is this bet you guys have? Okay, I'll let you go first. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not my bet. It's his bet with his friends. But I told him to get no. But I thought you had side. a bet going on with Uncle Paul. Uh no, we have a separate bet. Okay. Um, the thing that I came up with, I didn't come up with. It, I saw it on YouTube, and I thought it was really good. These guys were talking about the possibility in the last in the last trailer. They were talking. Alfred said, "He they said knew you would you come. Were, he said yeah. you would come. Um, let's hope you're not too late. If it was Superman, Batman in the, both the trailers, he seems like he doesn't think Superman's coming back. He thinks Superman is dead. So, if he's talking about Batman, who thinks Superman's coming back, then he, does he, that make sense? Yeah, he, it's not say? Superman. It it's, be, it so who, do you, Superman. who is it? Do you think, Drew? So I'm thinking since. Um, Shazam's Shazam is going to be in production here soon. I'm thinking it's Shazam or a Lantern. But my, what I do you really think? Really love it. I think it's Shazam because if everyone says that there's red in his eyes and his glasses, and you can tell who. Yeah, uh, it's, let me tell you, it's it's Superman. Everyone thinks it's, it's Supergirl. Superman. I don't think it's Supergirl. A lot of people think it's Supergirl. I saw that too. I think it's Superman, and or 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 it's going to be a bust. It's not Shazam. They haven't even cast Shazam yet. They I understand that, but this, who, also, this, is, cast they, this is them actually. This could be a way for them to shoe in no, Shazam. No. And why would why would Batman think Shazam is going to be there? Because he found Billy Batson. Because no, that's a whole other thing they're not going to get into. Lex, I mean Le- Lex Luthor had the files of of Super those humans. people. Who what, who knows that he didn't have Shazam? Okay, so on the there. bet is I know it's not Shazam. Okay, so my bet with my friend, uh-huh. he bet that it's Kara. Which is Supergirl. Okay, he th- he, I think it's Shazam. I think I'll it's owe Superman. him $10 if he's right, and he'll owe me $10. Okay. But the other side bet. My friend Cody has bet both of us. We have to give him $10 if it's a lantern. Okay. And one you guys are all it's wrong. Lantern. It's Superman. And I have a thing with Uncle Paul saying... Uh-huh. Um, you just call me Paul. <laughs> um, I don't want people to know you're my uncle. <laughs> you're, you're my <laughs> uncle. Um, <laughs> Right. Okay. Um, I saw some theories um, on YouTube, and they say that Superman's going to come back with the black suit. With the with the black suit. Yeah, he'll have to come and, back and he, with the black suit. He, for some reason, he'll be under something that he will be 
at least in some part of the movie, evil on Dark Side's side. I don't. F- okay, I can see where you could think that, but at the same time, I think that if that's the case, they're using a. They're going to probably use the cyborg Superman because that was who came. Uh, like Lex Luthor made a cyborg Superman Lex Luthor for a while. Superman. That's not Superman though. No, and because Superman right now is going through a healing process after Doomsday. That yeah. was the whole point right. in the comics. And then he comes back in the black That's suit, right. long hair, and all that That's other right. shit. So, so I even have a text from one listener saying, "Oh God, of course it's Superman! Don't you guys know Superman is going to be in the movie?" Yeah, That's how they're going to bring him back. It's it's oh, it's going to be Superman, and Superman's not going to be evil. That's our bet, yeah. right? I'll I'll go Paul ten dollars. I feel like this. It's too so don't, easy. I don't want people to know your mind. It's too easy to say that, that. It's gonna, that Superman Sorry. that Alfred's talking to. It's just too easy to say that because there's that's no way how they're going to do it. First that's one. how they're going to do it. There's no way. That, if that's the case, that's how the movie ends. Then that's going to end with Superman just standing there because there's no, no way Superman's going to come back. Show up. He's going to come back and help. This him. is a two parter, dude. There's also Wait, also is? in that. Yeah. Thing. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. In this thing, also they say. We're not enough. So they're, it's all going to build up. They're going to they're think they can't do it, and then here comes Superman, and they all work together. Another and thing that I that I, it's gonna be awesome. that I like to think, or right something now. that actually kind of scares me, is that I feel like they're going to do a Suicide Squad type of thing and give the first part of the movie is going to be backstory for everybody. Then the last, I don't think they will. Then the last quarter of the movie will be action. It'll be action, and then and then it'll be uh, Dark Side showing up in like some spaceship, and then bam, and then Superman will show up. That's how, that's how you think this is gonna go. That's how it's gonna go. It's gonna end that way with them wow. be like, well, he said you'd come. Well, guess what? And guys? It's gonna be Superman. That's how the movie ends. And then second part, we're gonna know in November, and folks, we're gonna report it to you. Because we're the week review, and we need to take a break, fellas. All right. We'll be right back. It is. What? superhero collection featuring Batman and the other half of the dynamic duo Robin. The Hulk, that green superhero, he's fully poseable. Falcon, the winged black superhero. Shazam and Iron Man. The world's greatest superheroes collection. Each superhero action figure sold separately from Mego. Growing up, I was really badly bullied, especially after my vision loss happened when I was 14 years old. I think the worst was when I was in high school, when I just started YouTube. I was bullied in person at my school for my videos. As a YouTuber, I obviously get lots of hate comments, but I have so many viewers who support me and who stand up for me, and it's just so humbling and amazing. But I do remember like growing up, whenever I did see someone else get bullied, I would never do anything, and I feel like I should have. So I think. Looking back, if I could redo it, I would go back and like be the friend to that person that was being bullied. One thing I love to do is give affirmations to people and make them feel good. So it's really small things, holding the door open for somebody, just showing them that small act of kindness can make a huge difference in their life when they might feel very isolated and alone and tormented. Kindness makes you feel good, it radiates you, so it's made me a stronger person. It's not about anything else. Hello, I'm Ricky Dillon. Go to your room and lock the door. Cause when you try it once, you want to try it some more. Try it some more. The size doesn't matter and that's a fact. It might be small, but it's a big impact. Oh. Bust a nut, bust a nut. Grab a bag of corn nuts and bust a nut. They lightly toast it and hard as well. Enjoy yourself, we won't tell. Everybody does it. An intensely crunchy corn snack comes in seven nut-busting flavors. Bust a nut at a convenience store near you. And welcome back 
to KCTK's Week Review with Paul and Drew, with Jack, as always. And we'd like to play the top songs that we get request at our phone number 913-735-0060. We play the top hits all the time. Here's one that came in on the request line. It's called The Assumption Song. There Enjoy was it. an old farmer who lived on a rock He sat in the meadow just shaking his fist At some boys who were down by the creek Their feet in the water, their hands on their marbles And playthings and at half past four There came a young lady, she looked like a pretty young creature She sat on the grass, she pulled up her dress And she showed them her ruffles and laces and white flowers Duck. She said she was learning a new way to bring up her children so they would not spit While the boys in the barnyard were shoveling refuse and litter from yesterday's hunt While the girl in the meadow was rubbing her eyes at the fellow down by the dock He looked like a man with a sizable home in the country with a big fence out front if he asked her politely, she'd show him her little pet dog who was subject to fits. And maybe she'd let him grab hold of her small tender hands with a movement so quick. And then she'd bend over and suck on his candy so tasty made of butterscotch. And then he spread whipped cream all over her cookies that she had left out on her shelf. If you think this is dirty, you can go f*** yourself. That's the Assumption Song on KCTK. We play all the top hits for you. Whenever you request them, we do it. <laughs> top so, hits, of course. And uh, that's a funny song because you think they're saying something dirty, but they're not. Hey. What up, um? Yeah, uh, I thought they were saying, like, cut and everything. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't even say... That's terrible words to say. But uh, we have a new uh, feature, and I know you guys are pretty excited about this, but it is uh, the stand-up joke of the week. And um, Drew, would you mind introducing me up? And ladies and gentlemen, here's the man with the plan that's going to make your gut hurt. It's Paul! Hey, hey, thanks, everybody. Thanks, hey. Yeah, it's great to be here, everyone. Hey, you know... I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Everything is so crazy nowadays. Wouldn't you say, guys? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I just long for simpler times myself. I know it's foolish, but I miss the days when kids went outside to play Pokemon Go. Or when a family, we all watched old TV shows like Two Broke Girls. And also when we all rooted for the Royals when they were good. <laughs> but things have changed so much. Thank you. That's the joke. Do you get the joke? Yeah, you, that was hilarious. You guys didn't think that was too funny. I was reminiscing about just last year. That's the joke. I got that. Okay. I remember your routine. All <laughs> right. Yeah, thanks. You no, recycled. <laughs> I got you. No, I didn't recycle. <laughs> I just tried to make a new one. So we need an update from, um, this isn't news from the douche, but this is what I like to call Inktober. Oh, yeah. Can you yeah. give us an update on that? All right. So I found out the Inktober's a lot harder than it seems. Yeah. <laughs> Making 31 drawings of ink is pretty hard. So, this latest one is called, the word is Ganessa. 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 Okay, so I'm going to use that word and I'm going to do some of my improv acting. Okay. Ganessa. What is that? Do you want to know what it means? No. Okay. I'm going to try to come up with the scene right now. Ganessa! Ganessa! Come on in! It's time to eat your vittles, Ganessa! G- okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I can't, so it's hard to do improv by yourself. It's fine. You're wrong, but it's yeah. fine. Uh, Ganessa is actually the Hindu god of wisdom and obstacles, which is a it's, elephant. It's not Ganesh. It's Ganesh. Ganesha is another word for it, but in it's another Ganesh, pronounce- it? pronunciation, it's Ganessa. And there's also Ganesh. That's another okay. way of saying it. All right. Well. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's Thank a beautiful Let me see drawing there. I'd like to see it. Thank Here. you. Show the camera there, Drew. Your camera. 
Not you. You're not Drew. You're Jack. Give it to back to Tim. Sorry. Sorry. It's really stupid. <laughs> okay. That's a beautiful drawing. Thank you. And mm. I, tell us a little uh, again about these dumb words. I mean, these words that you... Well, okay, so what I'm doing is I'm doing a bunch of... Because you're not using regular words. No. No. I don't understand. Uh, Frigidarius. This is... Bringer of cold. Ganesha, could you get my coat? Frigidarius (laughs) out here! There you go. That was a better joke. Thanks. All right. So this is Bringer of cold, so I did Jack Frost. He's one of my favorite fairy tale uh, characters. That's beautiful. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of uh, using a word and just uh, making a drawing for it for Inktober, and uh, man, it is... So... It's been tough. What's the word for tomorrow? The word for tomorrow? Yeah. You know what it is? Arrow worm. Where is he getting these words? Uh. I found them online. In a dictionary. It's a random word generator. Oh, okay. Yeah, and okay. I just go through like a roulette. Now he did. I thought your friend did it for you. Yeah, I lost the list. <laughs> so, so you're just doing it random words. Yes, yeah, so I made my own words and, you know, took it from there. You didn't take a picture of the list or anything? No, I messed up there. I asked him for a new one, but he keeps forgetting to give me a new well, one. Well, you know what? You're doing the same thing. You're, you're. I mean, he's. I'm actually been more up up to it than he has. Th- like those he, are great. I love those ones. Thank you. They're a little more understandable, and and I feel like the improv scene that I just did um, adds to the quality of your work because you're because you're an artist and you're practicing your craft. Correct. You know, have you heard this expression? They were they were saying this that he has the heart. Of an artist, but not the talent. Uh, yeah, I actually have heard that. I think they're talking about me when it comes oh, to the radio. That makes sense. You know what I mean? But There's I feel a, like you're an artist with that switchboard. Well, I no, I have the heart. I want to perform, and I want to, do, but I'm not good at it. Uh, now I did find out that why there must is. Why you bash yourself? Well, you're fantastic it's because it's what funny. you do. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Now Just there's kidding. other local little local radio stations, uh, internet radio stations. We ran into one. Yeah, we did. Um, and I try to listen, but they're not even on the air sometimes. That's how we are. Yeah. And I don't think they do a podcast. No. Then there's another one called Black Sky Radio. Have you heard of them? Uh-uh. They do comedy programs on there, some stand-up comics, comics from around there. But you have to listen to the radio. Meaning, I think we're the only one doing YouTube and podcast and broadcast live in the area. We're yeah. the only person doing a Paul cast. That's why it's called a Paul cast, because it has all of it together. It's a big old goulash. It's a it, yeah, it, but it's all it's all what you need to do. And so, as we're closing the show, I, who wants to take on? One of you guys are going to take on the Facebook Live. Oh, from your phone. Mm. Can you do that? Um, I cannot because I am not tech savvy like this guy over here, the Apple Master. He could probably get it done. Apple Master. Well, it'd be someone really just holding the phone and broadcasting it. Yeah. Facebook Live. Or do Instagram Live. Uh, Instagram I don't know which is better. I don't know what which is better. Which is better, Jack? Do you have Snapchat, too? That's, I, we'll talk about this You know later. what? We'll do an Insta, We'll make an Instagram of KCTK. Yeah. And we'll do Instagram and Live. We'll even put up the whole ghillie picture. Up oh on that, like a symbol. God. No, it'll be us. And someone, That'd one of you guys will have to hold it this when you're. Like great I guess I could put it on the stand there, right? Or you could put it on the stand over there. Wow. Yeah. You sound more upbeat about this. Yeah. You sound all like, ooh, this sounds. I always lame. think. I'm no, I like the Facebook. <laughs> I like the Facebook idea. I don't like the <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, that's what the word I said was Instagram. Okay. God, this kid. <laughs> okay. God, this kid this not kid. knowing modern right. social this media. Technology. But I'll tell you what we'll do is that we'll. Is he really Apple Matt? <laughs> yeah, we'll, you? We will keep moving on, is what we'll do, because that's what we. You know, that's. That's what we'll do. We'll just keep moving on and advancing. And you know what? And next time we'll have Facebook Live, maybe. You know what? What? We kept it pretty clean. This, this we did. We I did. wonder if this is too boring and too long, but we kept it clean. We kept it very clean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, you did! Yeah, and, we did. And also not a lot of Kermit. I think maybe Kermit's over. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why don't you get somebody else to call? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Keith didn't call. We miss Keith. Yeah. So thanks for listening, everybody. That's our fun time. We call it. <laughs> that was frigid air. Who was the name of it? Anyway, that's Ganesha coming in. Ganesha. <laughs> so thanks for listening to KCTK Radio's Week Review. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.